quick review of my uh, long-term review of my 2010 low six h s240 um, and the reason why I want to do the reviews because it's actually shipping out tomorrow to its new owner um, so there's things I love about the car um, main things are they hold really great value I mean pretty much sold it for what I bought it for um, but took a beating I put a lot of hard 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 miles on it um, easy to work on as far in the sense of oil changes air filter Transmission flush. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have anything major go wrong. Um, so, but the flushes are super simple. Uh, brakes are cheap. Tires are cheap. Doesn't have power steering. So, it, you know, it's a true. It's a track car. It is a straight up track car. So, uh, that's actually one of also the parts that I don't like about the vehicle is that the car rattles. It squeaks. It's it stuff breaks um, every time you get in the car. Expect something to break. Um, it's just the way it is. I mean, um, it it makes sense, right? Because Lotus is known for building lightweight race cars, and with lightweight, they use cheap plastics. Um, that's unfortunate, but but that's how you get two thousand two hundred pounds or whatever this exactly weighs. I forget. But so it's it was my dream car. Still is a car that I love dearly. But um, it was time for me to move on from this and go on to something else. Um, but. You know, only modifications I did to it is uh, aftermarket exhaust because the stock exhaust is pretty restrictive. So aftermarket is it was much needed, and uh, I did some lighting in the back engine, which is pretty cool. But um, they're super rare. That's a good and bad thing, right? I enjoy driving a rare car where nobody knows, but at that same time, uh, it draws a lot of attention and. Sometimes when someone's coming to talk to you, you don't know what their intentions are. So it, it always, I, I just, I don't, I didn't like it. So some people love that stuff, but not for me. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, one of the most beautiful cars I've ever made, I think, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I think even made a $1 million car from this setup, right? The, the Hennessy. I forget the name of it, but I think the Hennessy something, but I anyway, they extended it through a giant motor in it. So, but that's one thing I wish I could have done to this, or I wish it did come with a bigger motor. And it is a super slow car. Um, it's faster to 60. Um, it's exhilarating, but all in all, it's slow. You know, if you try to drop it from second gear, third gear, it's kind of, you know, it's lazy, you know, but, um, Sounds really good though. So, but that's pretty much it. Um, I am sad to see it go. Okay, excited for the new car. I'll do a review of the new vehicle when it gets here. It's gonna take forever. So inside, let me show you. Still, the lights are right there. car is perfect uh, shape I should say oh come on guy there we go 50 5857 or 8857 is that right no, 8357. It's pretty cool. Lights up the little engine compartment, but cooler. But that's it. So, fun car. Would buy one, but it wouldn't buy one this expensive. I think they're worth about, to me, they're worth about 45000 that's the max I would pay for this again, um, you know, but they're, they hold their value. They don't, um, I mean, I pretty much got exactly what I paid for it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it. The car's done. It's gone. Oh, aftermarket ship now. Seats have been good. They're comfortable for what they are. You're sitting on a, you know, but 
that's it. Car's gone. Bittersweet. So, thanks.